Hello and welcome to the Bearski Film Review. Please click subscribe to help support the channel and get all of our content. Now that we're at the halfway point of the season, I want to reflect on the progress that has been made by the Bears and share some of my thoughts and my opinions with you. To start, I feel that this season is playing out perfectly so far. I'm a firm believer in trying to win every single game. However, I do understand draft capital, though. I am okay with a subpar record as long as Ryan Poles trades back in the first round and gets multiple picks for his high first-round pick. This would be a great way to get young talent and fill up the depth of this roster. What you see every single week from the Bears is consistent fight. The offense is really coming together in the last three games, and even though it didn't look great early on, the consistent rushing attack is a really good way to force other teams to defend you in a certain way, and that will allow your young quarterback to progress on his own pace. Along with all the cap room that the Bears have next year, Ryan Poles is really doing a great job here. The consistency of the scheme and the play calls is very noticeable as well. Getsy did not go astray from the plan at all, and then when the Bears had 10 days off before the Patriots game, they added a designed quarterback run element to the mix, and just three weeks later, Fields is breaking NFL records. I feel that the offensive line is much better than expected as well, and if the Bears go out and sign a premier right tackle, a veteran cornerback, as well as draft a wide receiver, draft a center, this team could really, really be dangerous next year. However, it does always fall on the quarterback play. The important thing is consistency from Justin Fields. Do not get scared when he takes a little step back. The arrow doesn't just go up and up and up and up. Usually these things, you know, take little dips and stuff like that. He may have another game like the Houston game where he throws a couple interceptions, but um, do it this year. Do it this year. Learn from, you know, uh, the games this year because our record is not good. We're probably the scariest three and six team out there right now, but the Bears aren't making a run this year. So just take these experiences, learn from them, take chances, take shots. You know, uh, I don't care about the wins so much. Um, it's always nice to win, of course, but everything we're seeing from the Bears this year is very positive. It's going in the right direction and it's going at a much, much faster pace than I expected it to go. This is all... It's a great time to be a Bears fan, especially with uh, the Packers falling apart. The Vikings are a pretty solid team, but at the end of the day, it's still Kirk Cousins and, uh, the you know, the Lions are always the Lions. But Jared Goff is also not any quarterback to necessarily be afraid of. This, this division is really for the taking for the Bears next year. I've been really high on Justin Fields, even pre-draft. I was so excited when the Bears were able to draft him, and... Um, you know, even I thought that possibly this Miami game was going to be one of those step back games where you see him struggle a little bit, and he goes out there and just crushes it and sets records, and it's great. I mean, he's he's even better than I thought he was, which which is just awesome. The ceiling is definitely really high for Justin Fields, but like I said, um, the key here is consistency. He's strung three, four games together now. Uh, there will be a bad game here and there, so don't freak out when it happens. But what you're looking for is you're looking for these consistent games you know as long as after the bad game he can bounce back and string another two three four really good games guys that's how that's how quarterbacks develop thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the channel and there will definitely be more to come bear down